I would ask the gentleman that he spoke during his remarks against the nominee about used the word duty and suggested that the nominee showed a lack of that. I would ask the gentleman the following. Is it possible for a naval officer who does not fulfill his duty or show his duty to his country to be awarded a Naval Achievement Medal of Honor on the very day that he is discharged from the armed services? Is that even possible? Mr. Speaker, I would say it certainly is possible. But it doesn't at all negate anything that I said. The truth of the matter is people can be of good spirit. They can be pleasant. They can, in just about every regard, do their job. But when they take the extraordinary measure of speaking against their chain of command and speaking against the official policy of their commander-in-chief, they have stepped outside of what is acceptable. And I would point out to the gentleman that I don't think the Navy treated this lightly when they discharged him not once, but twice. And I do think, quite frankly, they were being generous with him, as the gentleman from Stafford pointed out in his remarks. Will the gentleman yield for another question, Mr. Speaker? Will the gentleman yield for another question? I will yield. The gentleman yields. Can the gentleman point to one instance when the nominee took an oath to obey the Constitution of the United States, both as a naval officer and the oath to support the Constitution of the United States and the Commonwealth of Virginia three times as a, an assistant Commonwealth attorney? Can the gentleman point to one instance where he violated that oath? I would respond to the gentleman that he should refer himself to my previous remarks, and that is what I believe about this case. Would the gentleman yield for another question? Would the gentleman yield for, for another a question? final question as the hour is very late. The gentleman yields. Would the gentleman agree that delegate, the gentleman from Prince William County's comment that he appeared in uniform while he exercised his First Amendment rights was inaccurate, and that, in fact, the nominee never, ever appeared in uniform uh, when he expressed his First Amendment rights and discussed his sexual orientation. Mr. Speaker, I would allow the gentleman to respond to his own question. 